day 9, December 11th. Again, it's early as heck on the weekend because again, I'm gonna meet up with and record a day in the life of Mr. Chen, my Chinese meeting craft farmer buddy. And again, I am driving to his place on Yangcheng Lake in Xiangting district of Suzhou. And also again, we are heading out into the lake to get some work done in preparation for the next breeding season. If you're excited for a boat ride, hit that like! Last time, we planted fence posts into the lake bed. This time, we are going to plant some aquatics into the water. Welcome to the Yangcheng Lake Perry Crab International Culture Center. That's how big an icon the little crab is. It has its own museum. Come on, let me show you around. This museum explains in detail how to raise your own Chinese mitten crabs. For instance, the ratio of crabs raised to the crabs cut, and then the different components of different feed mixtures, uh, the water's pH level, and when to feed the feeds. It's pretty interesting how some of these factors contribute to the crab's beauty. For instance, the hard uh, floor of the lake or the pond enables the crabs to stand up and keep their bellies uh, away from the uh, mucky lake bottom and stay clean. And also because plentiful aquatic plants not only function as food or as anchors for the crabs to steady themselves as they smoke, but uh, also as a kind of brush or mop that continuously uh, scrubs the bellies of the crab and keep them clean. Clearly, water weeds are instrumental in producing the top-notch quality that has given the Yangcheng Lake Harry crabs their worldwide renown. The day started with our own boat of aquatic plants, which Mrs. Chan scooped up and dispersed into the lake. Next came two guys with freighters full of Natal's water weed. After helping the newcomers enter the crab farm, Mr. and Mrs. Chen split up to respectively helm the two boats while the two guys began the arduous labor of raking, pitforking, and shoveling the cargoes into the water. The ordeal was laborious enough that the dude on my vessel worked up his sweat and took off his jacket. Tangao 根据大闸蟹文化馆的介绍，除了此前提到的原因之外，还有金花水质功能。水草在自身代谢的过程中，不仅通过光合作用释放出大量氧气，还会吸收水里的氨氮、二氧化碳、饲料溶解物、有机分